is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling coming to you on my birthday and today I'm going to be showing you guys at my birthday haul what I got. Now it's all wrestling related of course, but without further ado, let's get right into it. So kicking things off ladies and gentlemen, I got the Daniel Bryan Yes 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 t-shirt that he used to wear obviously before the heel turn. Unfortunately, I've been hearing the rumours that Daniel Bryan's injured at the moment. I have just got back off of like my little holiday for Easter um, and I haven't been, obviously didn't be able to make any videos at the time and there's so many videos I've got to make now because I gained like 200 subscribers while I was away but that's the first thing. We've got the Daniel Bryan t-shirt obviously with WWE Authentic Wear stamp. On the back of it, it looks like this. Just got the Daniel Bryan logo obviously. And yeah, that's the first thing I got. So that's the Daniel Bryan t-shirt, which is really nice. The next thing I got, ladies and gentlemen, is the WWE Raw first 25 years. Um, now, this is just a really big book that's basically just covering all of the first 25 years of Monday Night Raw. If we go into it, on the contents page, it's all done by the year, which is really cool. Um, and it basically just goes over all the different years, stuff that happened, the main key points of Monday Night Raw. Obviously, I know a lot of this information anyway, but it's great to get a refresher just to make sure that I know it like, you know, 100%. It's really cool. So I'm really happy with this. On to the next thing. Next up, we got some cool new figures. I just want to apologize for the lighting. Uh, the lighting's really bad in my room and I've got nowhere else to film at the moment. Uh, you guys can probably see to my right and everything. I'm just filled with bags and everything from unpacking. Um, so yeah, I'm sort of a bit stranded, but I've got the all of these fig new figures which are really awesome. Next thing we got, ladies and gentlemen, is some WWE Daniel Bryan side plates for the Replica Championship. Now, I've already recorded my review of these side plates, therefore I've all like they're not in the box right now you can see these are just in the generic side plates but these Daniel Bryan side plates are on my replica belt which is right here and they look awesome so literally just getting a look at them this once again this lighting is shite but yeah Daniel Bryan side plates are on my replica belt so I thought that was gonna be it until the other day when uh, my brother-in-law uh, actually spoke to me and saw something cool on eBay and uh, we both looked at it and it was a one-of-a-kind thing. I FaceTimed my mate Billy um, because these championships are impossible to find on eBay and obviously Billy's like this was his favourite championship or one of. So I pulled the trigger, we went ahead and bought it and this is my final birthday present that I will be doing a review of as a subscriber special. Ladies and gents, we've got the 2008 ECW Commemorative Championship title. I added my own little Joe Anthony nameplate literally a minute ago. I'll probably make a video of how you guys can do this to your championships as well. But yeah, here it is, ECW Championship. It is used, um, so obviously it's missing some stuff. All of the like the buckle things, what are they called? They've been glued uh, with Gorilla Glue, so they hopefully don't fall off. But yeah, and this championship, man, I'm so happy I've got it. It's really fragile, um, so it's not one that's going to be thrown around, um, but it's just something that I can have to say that I own an ECW championship. So, moving back onto the front camera. So that was all of the main presents I got. Um, we're just going to quickly sit down at my desk and we're going to look through all of the figures that I've got. But once again, ladies and gents, ECW Championship, all of the big presents that I've got here. We've obviously got the side plates, ECW title. I didn't plan ahead to the point where I don't know where I'm going to put this ECW Championship. However, I don't know. But yeah, I think all in all, I've done pretty well. Um, obviously, I helped towards some of these uh, money-wise. I like, you know, so I'll pay like half or something. But all of these figures are pretty awesome. They're all going to be seen on the pick fed. Um, I might have to fix up some of them, but let's just move on to unboxing them. Please excuse the mess of this desk, guys. Uh, obviously, PS4, nothing's been plugged in yet. I literally just got home like really late last night. Um, but yeah, so moving on. Firstly, we've got this, uh, uh, it's like a basic rock figure. I don't know what it's from. I believe it might be from the battle pack with John Cena that came out in, I believe, 2011. But it's really cool. It's just a promo attire rock that I'm going to use on the pick fed. But yeah, got the same head scan as the rock that I use on the pick fed. A lot of people shit on this head scan. I quite like it a lot. It's pretty decent. But yeah, that's the rock. So next up, we've got the Olympic gold medalist, Kurt angle let's get him out of the box so i've already obviously cut the tape and everything on these because i'm trying to do this one-handed but it's probably not going to work 
yeah, this isn't going to work one-handed. So uh, let's just fast forward to when he's out of the box then. So here is the Olympic gold medalist out of the box. Uh, this is a really awesome figure, of, once again, based off the Survivor Series 2017 attire. I'm not going to be doing in-depth reviews on these. You guys obviously can watch people like My Damn Toys for that. But speaking of My Damn Toys, he actually did a action figure surgery on this cut angle and gave it the SummerSlam basic head, which I am most likely going to do as well because this head scan... It's just goofy as hell. I'm just, I'm just not a fan. But yeah, obviously comes with this shitty rubber uh, Monday Night Raw t-shirt, which I can just put over his head. It, they're really stiff though, and he's fallen. Um, but yeah, Monday Night Raw t-shirt, I'm not really going to use that for anything. Obviously, my pick fed isn't Raw and SmackDown. It's JTW Live and Redemption. And then these cool interchangeable hands. So you can have him doing the uh, finger point. Uh, so he can like be doing his, you know, pointing to the sky thing that he does in his entrance or you can have him in his grappling like hands and yeah these new um these new interchangeable hands are really awesome so thank god mattel started doing these because they just really help out a bunch but anyway moving on to the next figure which is roman reigns so here we have the Elite 65 Roman Reigns. The big dog comes with an Intercontinental Championship. I need a new one. Mine's beat up. But yeah, this Roman Reigns, I've literally, I saw this, um, was it, I don't know when it was, but when they leaked the pictures of this and I knew I had to have it straight away, it's literally the perfect Roman Reigns figure. Perfect head scan, the shoulders right, a cool vest, and with a title as well and interchangeable hands. So let's get him right out of the box. Let's go. So here is the big dog out of the box and obviously comes with the interchangeable hands doing this cool pose um, and I honestly would have preferred a Superman punch in hand but you know we'll get that on another Roman figure because Roman just has two like this sort of hands like the grab hands we call them but yeah intercontinental championship looking real nice this roman figure looks real nice full shoulder tattoo which is amazing head scan in my opinion is the best roman reigns head scan they've ever produced i believe this is based off of his raw 25 attire when he actually beat the miz for the intercontinental championship just before the royal rumble 2018 but yeah that was the roman reigns now we're going to move on to the aj styles so right here we got the phenomenal aj styles elite 66 in his, is it, is, believe his Royal Rumble 2018 attire, I'm not 100% sure, but obviously it comes with the WWE Championship, comes with the P1 hands, let's get him right out of the box. So here is the AJ Styles out of the box, comes with the WWE Championship, interchangeable hands, you can't really do the P1 with it, but you know, close enough, it works I guess. Once again, obviously the best AJ head scan we've got, it's got the really long hair, um, comes with a plastic t-shirt, the little rubbery ones that are suck instead of cloth, but it's different to the jacket I suppose, which is always a plus, Mattel mixing things up a little. But that is the WWE Elite 66 AJ Styles. Moving on to the Fan Central Big Show. So here is the WWE Fan Central Big Show figure, obviously my most anticipated figure out of all of this haul. Now let's get him out of the box. Now this Big Show figure is awesome. Comes with the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal statue. Obviously has a custom Big Show body mold that is new, obviously for his skinnier body that he's got now. He's not obviously, you know, really large anymore. But obviously, this is the first big show that has completely different hand sculpts all together. We've got a new choke slamming hand and a new WMD fist hand. Finally, we can do the big show's knockout punch properly. Uh, Mattel always give us the loose, uh, this hand, the, grapping, the grabbing hand that they always give us with the Roman Reigns figures. The same with the big show. And it's really annoying considering they both do punches. But this Big Show figure is amazing. I'm so happy I finally got my hands on it. Now, let's move on to the final figure. The final figure we've got here today is the Entrance Greats Elias, the last in the Entrance Greats line. Comes with his guitar, comes with his stool, the scarf, everything. Let's get it open. And here is the Entrance Greats Elias out of the box. It's really cool. Obviously, they had the Elite uh, 60 Elias, but that didn't hit stores over here in the UK. And uh, if it did, it was rare as fuck. So no one actually bought that. This Elias is perfect. Obviously comes with a little podium. Ladies and gentlemen, Elias. Hello, I am Elias. Yeah, that little podium obviously plays his old like intro thing, which is really awesome. But yeah, that was my haul of WWE figures for my birthday, and that was my entire birthday haul together. I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. Stay tuned for more wrestling-related content. See you in the next video.